Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be transforming the all-new Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra into a desktop PC. So with the recent release of the S24 line from Samsung, we've got some really powerful Android devices here. And one of my favorite things about these Samsung S devices is the inclusion of Samsung DeX. Now, if you're not familiar with DeX, that's totally fine. We're gonna go over as much as we can in this video, but basically we can actually plug our device into a larger display or even a PC with their Samsung DeX on Windows application and get a full desktop experience. And while we're using the desktop or Samsung DeX, we can also use use our phone screen. So we have two different platforms to work on at one time. And with the new Samsung Galaxy S24 line, it's better than ever. We've got a more powerful CPU here, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. And this time around, we can actually go up to 4K using an external monitor, which is really awesome for a mobile device. Now, obviously you will need a Samsung Galaxy device. This will work from the S8 up to the S24 Ultra, but we've got the Ultra here. And if you want the best experience out of Samsung DeX, I would highly recommend picking up a USB Type-C to HDMI adapter. Samsung also sells their DeX dock, but it's quite expensive. This thing here was around 18 bucks. It's got USB 3, HDMI out, micro SD, and full-size SD card slots on it. And it works perfectly from the Galaxy S8 up to the S24. I'll leave a link for it down below. Another thing that really comes in handy is just some kind of phone stand. Now you could always set your phone on the desk if you want to. And a few other things I like to add is a USB mouse and keyboard. I usually use a wireless setup. And if I want to do any gaming, I've got a wireless controller like an Xbox One controller. Getting this setup is super easy. Basically what we want to do is go ahead and plug this into our display. You can use the adapter if you want to, but the monitor I have here does have USB Type-C video in. It'll do up to 4K 60 Hertz. And uh, out of the box, the Galaxy devices, at least the new ones, are set up to automatically use DeX once HDMI is detected. And as you can see, on the big screen, we've got a desktop interface. And over here, we can actually still use our phone. Now, if you don't have a mouse and keyboard, that's fine because there is a built-in digital trackpad. Down in the lower left-hand corner of your phone screen, you will see the icon once you have everything connected. And you can navigate and click using that digital touchpad. Now I've already done a little bit of setup with Samsung DeX here. I've got a custom wallpaper and everything like that. But what I want to do now is go ahead and plug this into my game capture so we can do some screen recording. You can get a better look at the whole interface here. All right, so as you can see, we've got a really nice desktop interface and using a mouse is definitely the way to go. Down here in the lower left-hand corner, we've got our app panel and we can add any of these to the desktop or the home screen. Add to home, we've got it listed here. There's also a lot of customization that we can do here. So basically, we're going to go into Settings, Samsung DeX, and from here are all of our settings for DeX. And one thing I'd like to mention here is we can go up to 4K. So from Display and Resolution, Samsung DeX Settings, UHD, 4K, choose Done. But as you can see, everything shrinks down a bit. Now we do have Screen Zoom which will make it a little larger, but you do need to go all the way up. And I think for this video, what I'm gonna do here is just go to 1440p to make it a bit easier to see, but just keep in mind, yeah, UHD is an option, but WQHD is what we're gonna be going with right now. Okay, so along with that resolution setting, we can auto start when HDMI is connected, font size, screen zoom, Screen timeout for the connected device, because as you can see, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is still running, and we can actually use the device right now. You could make a call on it, you could actually watch a video or play a game on the phone screen, and then come over here and do some work, or do the same exact thing. Wallpaper. So from here, we can actually customize everything. With the built-in wallpapers, you usually only have around four choices, but you can always download some. And I've gone through and downloaded a few. Go with lock screen, and I'll swap this out, and I'm just using 4K images that I downloaded from a wallpaper website on Google, not exactly sure which one it was, but moving down a bit, app icon badges, taskbar, auto hide taskbar, now personally I don't like this, I kind of like having that up on screen all the time. Navigation buttons, you can disable all of this, kind of customize it to your liking. Keyboard, on-screen keyboard location, on the phone right now, or you can set it up to show on the deck screen. 
mouse and trackpad, automatically show touchpad when Dex runs, and that's going to be on the phone screen. So you can actually navigate without a mouse and keyboard connected. You can use the phone screen. But, uh, you know, since we've got a really nice desktop interface, I highly suggest using a keyboard and mouse. They're really cheap. I'll leave some links in the description. A few more settings down here. Not too much more we need to go over. Obviously, having this larger screen, a little bit easier to navigate, in my opinion, especially with a mouse and keyboard. From our app panel, we do have access to all of the Android apps that we have downloaded on the phone. And a lot of this stuff does scaling really well. There are a few apps that just don't scale correctly. I'm not sure if this one's changed or not. Oh, it looks like they've actually updated this. It used to be Minecraft would not scale properly, but yeah, definitely does. And I'll show you more about these multi windows now. For instance, I've got Google Play right here. We can resize these windows, not a problem. This also has a snap feature, which I really like. So we'll go ahead and snap it over here. Let's launch something else. We'll do a uh, Galaxy Store. We can snap this one right over here. And with the latest updates to DeX, we do have a transparency setting. So you can see, you can go ahead and make this transparent if you want to. Having that snap feature is nice, but uh, you know, being able to disconnect everything and kind of resize it is really where it's at with Samsung DeX. So I'm going to go ahead and get a few apps on screen. Okay, so I've got my Chrome browser, Galaxy Store, Google Play. Also got a calculator up. And uh, let's launch one more here. We'll do uh, PSP. A little bit of emulation on screen right now. Resizing has gotten really nice with Samsung DeX. But I can browse the web while I'm watching a video or playing a game over here. Checking out some new apps on the Galaxy Store. Doing a little bit of math. Google Play. And of course, when it's time to game, you can come right back over here. So multi-app, multi-window support is here, and it's very functional in Samsung DeX. And it does make for a really nice experience. Different people are going to use Samsung DeX in different ways, and I want to show you a few different use case scenarios. First one being large screen media playback. Apps like Netflix, HBO are going to work really well here. And we've also got access to YouTube. So I've just brought up a 4K 60 HDR video. We need to make sure we are at 4K. The S24 Ultra does support HDR over USB Type-C. Plus, I want to make sure that we are actually running this at full speed. Stats for nerds. This is basically just going to tell us everything about the video itself. We are at 4K 60 FPS with HDR enabled, and it's going to play through this just fine. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 has more than enough power for 4K 60 HDR playback on the Samsung Galaxy S24. Really nice experience, and we do have Widevine Level 1, so if you did want to do Netflix in HD, it's totally possible through Samsung DeX. Next up, on-the-go content creation. There are a ton of apps on Google Play that you can download for video editing and photo editing. But personally, I use Adobe Rush. We're just going to create a new project. I'm going to go with their sample media, and we'll go ahead and add these three. We'll just create. Adobe Rush is really easy to use. There are some effects that we can add directly in here. We can speed up our clips. We can add on-screen text and things like that. And when you record directly on your device, you can actually just import all of your media right there. And with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, it actually exports quite quickly. And when scrubbing through your timeline here, it's not bad at all, even with some effects added. And having the larger screen with Samsung DeX does make video editing much, much easier. And if you wanted to get some photo editing done in DeX, lots of different apps that you can use. I would recommend something like Photoshop Express or even Canva. This is actually really nice, intuitive, and it works great in DeX on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. But I gotta say, one of my favorite use case scenarios for using Samsung DeX is big screen gaming on Android, be it native Android games, cloud gaming, or even emulation. 
We're going to start out here with some native Android gaming, and then we'll move over to some emulation. And by the way, I am using an Xbox controller connected over Bluetooth. So let's go with Call of Duty Mobile. We can go full screen with it here. All right, so here we are with Call of Duty Mobile using that Xbox controller connected over Bluetooth. Not bad at all. We're actually at the highest settings, 60 FPS, and I don't think this is quite doing 1440p, but it still looks great on this larger display. I mean, you can really tell the difference. It's not pixelated or anything like that, and it plays just fine because after all, we've got that Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 in this unit. And any game that natively supports a game controller for Android will work this way. Unfortunately, something like Genshin Impact, you will still need to use a key mapper to get that gamepad working. But moving over to Diablo Immortal works out well with this Xbox controller. I've also got this one maxed out. We're at the highest settings, 60 FPS. And unfortunately, from the game itself, we can't go to Ultra HD. But on a larger display, this game also looks really, really nice. But one of my favorite things to run with Samsung DeX on a larger display are emulators. So here we have some Wii emulation using the Dolphin emulator. The S24 Ultra will also do GameCube just fine with that new chipset. We're at 720p right now with this one, but I think we could go up to 1080. Still looks great. FPS is up in the top left hand corner. Tatsunoko versus Capcom. And I wanted to show one more off here. We've got PS2 using Ether SX2. This one's a little funky. Uh, the screen isn't kind of filling everything, but I do have this upscaled. We're actually at 2.75x resolution with the Ether SX2 emulator. Still got a much larger display than we would on the built-in phone. I mean, a way larger display. And PS2 emulation is phenomenal on the S24 Ultra. And keep in mind, I mean, the S24 and the S24 Plus also support Samsung DeX. Plus, they have that same exact chipset, so you're going to see this kind of performance out of either of the phones. Over the past few years, I've used Samsung DeX quite a bit. I'm a huge fan of it, and that's one of the big reasons I always pick up the Galaxy phones and the Galaxy tablets. It does come in really handy when you're traveling. All you really need is your phone or your tablet. Remember, this will work from the Galaxy S8 on up to the S24 Ultra here. It also works on the S24 and the S24 Plus. But yeah, I mean, it's really awesome, especially for big screen gaming. If you need more space to work, video editing, document editing, web browsing, it's really nice to have an option like this. And I think since we've got the most powerful Galaxy device so far, this has been the best experience with Samsung DeX to date. Now, if you're interested in picking up a Galaxy S24 device, I'll leave some links in the description. And if you've already got one or an older S device that supports this, I'll leave links for everything else I use, like the HDMI adapter, keyboard, everything like that. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you've got any questions, let me know down below. And like always, thanks for watching.